What's going on guys? So today we are out here in Elkhart, Indiana at the Forest River Dealer Expo. Basically the place where the dealers go to find the inventory that they want to carry. We're looking at this all new floor plan from the folks over at Riverstone. This thing is absolutely cool. It's a Riverstone Legacy, which is their higher end package, full body paint. Even the side of the slide outs are painted, just not with the stripes following through. Triple axle unit. This thing is absolutely amazing. We're going to go over this thing tip to tip because what's back here you might think is a traditional toy hauler garage but it might surprise you. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, first of all, we're gonna start by taking a look at the numbers on this unit. It's gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 24,000 pounds. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 5,268 pounds, dry weight of 18,656 pounds, and it's over 45 feet long. It's gonna have triple axles, and each axle 7,000 pounds and with 17.5 inch H-rated tires. Um, yeah, you're gonna need a very, very heavy duty pickup truck to haul this thing. Um, only a modern dually, maybe even something a little bigger than that, with at least, with at least 5,500 pounds worth of cargo capacity would be my recommendation. Has a generator already up front. Coming around, this color scheme is absolutely gorgeous. There's one thing folks at Riverstone are known for. It's absolutely beautiful, beautiful exterior styling. What's also kind of cool is you can see, you actually can see how they design the walls here because everywhere that there is a stud, you can see that there's no condensation forming. So you can see the spacing perfectly well. Very cool. Well, we're gonna hop inside of this unit first, then we'll come back out and we'll see what the outside's all about. All right, stepping up the Moride step above into this Riverstone Legacy 4513 DST. All right, first of all, this has that really cool new Moride safety rail on it, which is nice. So check out this living room space. L-shaped, love that. Um, to be able to have a really functional toy hauler with a beautiful living room, this thing has to be like 45 feet long. So you have your theater seating here, you have theater seating here, you have your refrigerator over here, some windows right here, and a pan around so you can see what's going on in this space. So check this out. This is really cool. You got your TV in place and there's a secret here that I'm about to show you. But before I show you that, looks like somebody's at this back ordering window. Can I get a drink please? What's going on, man? So this is Tyler, my friend from E-Trailer. And uh, he came up with his crew. They're gonna be out here filming too and kind of looking at some unique things. It's funny because a lot of the products people wanna put on their RV, you guys sell. And as you walk around here, you start seeing a lot more of the stuff that you guys actually offer aftermarket on RVs. So yeah, if you guys see anything in the show, like the cool Lippert, you know, accessories or Moride stuff or disc brakes and things like that, and you wanna upgrade your own RV, the folks over at E-Trailer carry all of this stuff. So you don't have to have a brand new RV to have really cool brand new accessories for it. And you know, Jake over at E-Trailer, he kind of demonstrates that. He puts a lot of stuff on a very old fifth wheel and he loads it up with modern technology, which is really nice. Yeah, we like to play a little game when we walk around one of these RV shows is what's going to break first and, or the other side, what are you going to upgrade first, right? Like you look, I want new stairs, I want new um, new counters, new faucets, everything like that. Carry all that stuff too. Yeah. It's crazy. And yeah. he, he's not even kidding. He carries faucets, light fixtures, lights, uh, just about everything you can imagine they carry to upgrade an RV. Yeah. So they're looking around and he's probably going to drop in occasionally in these videos and give some feedback as well. But I wanna show you something cool. First of all, while we're here, we might as well look at it. This is your garage, but it's more than just a garage in this unit. They made this really cool pass-through window, which is beautiful, and it closes up, so you can close this space up if you want as well to give yourself that isolation, especially if you have things in there that might smell like fuel. But it gives you a really cool multi-purpose back area. This, for me, would be kinda of like a cool drum studio because I play drums. But man, close this off. I'm not sure how quiet it would be, but. You know, for the traveling musician, that'd be kind of cool, yeah, right? That'd be pretty cool. I would like to have a live concert out the back here. That's true. You got the ramp. You got the stage on the back, or let's yeah. call it a riser. Yeah, riser. But you know what? E-trailer. You guys get this, by the way. We got two more e-trailer folks here. But e-trailer gets something like this. Now you have a portable studio to actually create content in in the back for e-trailer stuff on the road. And all you need is a Peterbilt to haul this thing. No, I'm kidding, but a super, super cool setup. Now, I'm going to show you guys something that you didn't know existed. So there's a surprise in this room. I want to see who can find it. Uh, it's more than what you yeah, think. there's a hint. Oh, it's like the other one. Yeah, what's back there? Oh, I see the handle. Secret oh, cubby. Isn't that cool? There's a ton of pantry room. 
Yeah, it's a lot of space. You can even put a child back here if you absolutely needed to, and if you're a bad parent. But no, this is such a cool space. Please don't do that. Um, that was that was not a suggestion. This is just a really cool storage space for extra stuff, like maybe comforters, sheets, blankets, things like that that you want to throw back here. Or if you have uh, certain types of self-protection devices, things like that, another great place to kind of store stuff. Super cool, and it's hidden. It's well out of the way. The only indication that it exists is this right here, and the fact that you kind of wonder if you're on the outside, what's in the slide out. What do you think of the kitchen? The kitchen's pretty nice. Uh, I do appreciate the stove units that actually have the matching drawer on the bottom. Yep. That's a nice thing with some of the aftermarket stoves that I've seen and done some reviews on with AJ. It just kind of looks like there's like another drawer under there that might yeah. match the counters, might not. What's cool about this is this is the actual full residential drop-in insignia. So you pull this whole unit out just like you would one in your home. The difference is it's a little bit narrower than what you would get in your home. Very European in nature, but you're starting to see these in a lot more RVs. Not even RVs that have to be super, super expensive. You actually see these in more of your midline fifth wheels now too. Brands like Alliance and companies like that also put this in. But it's super cool to have like a high-end looking residential, you know, stove oven combo inside your RV, as well as a beautiful, you know, full residential microwave. A um, lot of stuff that you can't really notice in units like this are things that, that stand out if you want something that's gonna last a long time. All real wood cabinets, solid wood, this is residential grade, and in many cases better than residential grade because even residential stuff, if you pick it up at like a Lowe's and Home Depot, it's usually particle board with just a facing on it. And this stuff is actually like real hardwoods. So they do a lot of real hardwoods in these units. But you're gonna pay for it. You're right, and but you know, you look back here at some of these other units, these are gonna have your particle board. They're gonna have your lower cost materials because they're not nearly as premium as like a Riverstone. Plus real Corian. So if they had the sink covers right here, you'd just see how heavy this stuff is. You have to have a ch chassis that can handle all of that extra weight when it comes to luxury amenities. And usually they put things everywhere in here to kind of make it look beautiful. I love this waterfall type edge right here too where it gives you the Corian on the side. A lot of cosmetic features in here. Infinity lighting. Beautiful crown molding. You have your return air ducts right here because this is a whisper quiet AC system and there's three ACs in this unit. You have the lighting down here on the floor, accent lighting. This actually looks great when you're at a camping site. It's real dark outside and you just want to kind of illuminate the area with ambiance. This does a great job with that. You're going to have a little bit higher grade furniture. This is kind of cool. So these are made for products you guys may actually sell. So Lippert has all these accessories that actually get their power once you plug them into these ports. So you plug them in and a fan, reading light, uh, things like that. You have all sorts of accessories that plug into those. And again, they get their power off of the seat. Um, so you can keep them stowed out of the way. If it's a hot day, you don't, you know, maybe you're out in an area where you can't run your AC, you drop a fan in there, you turn it on and it blows on you. And it also charges the fan because it has a battery. All right, let's walk up here. It's probably your controls. You got all your controls in here. One of the new more modern features you're seeing is these buttons on the side for your lights. They're actually wireless. So they don't have wires going into the wall and they speak to the control panel in here instead of having to have wires ran to it. You just have to replace the batteries every few years. All right. So let's check out this bathroom. Beautiful bathroom. Love that Riverstone surround, huge shower, nice tall ceilings, crown molding everywhere, beautiful undermount sink, or actually that's an integrated sink, so that's a whole Corian sink and everything. Porcelain foot flush toilet. All right, stepping into the bedroom, king size bed. You're gonna have storage underneath the bed as well. Boy, that one's heavy. But there's strut arms to help you once you get to a certain point. You got your extra tables under there as well, or your extra chairs for the dinette. All right, let's take a look inside of this closet where you have your Splendid stackable washer and dryer. And then on the other side, you have your closet space. It's interesting how they put the hanging rod right here, but you also have one up top and you have a Dyson vacuum as well. Back here, you have just a really cool little cubby. So just extra storage, nice spot for it. And again, you can see the hardwood cabinets for everything. You have your TV here ready mounted, lots of wardrobe space. All soft closing cabinets and drawers. Well, these might not be soft closing. Now, these aren't soft closing, but these are. And you have your, your actual lighting controls in here. 
beautiful. Love the fact that it has the day night roller shades as well. All right, now I'm gonna step into the garage because I haven't actually walked in there yet. Samsung residential refrigerator. Thank you. Beautiful glass door. Has a nice seal too to prevent a lot of the smells from transferring. So they, this isn't carpeted, but it's kind of carpeted. This stuff pulls up. So I believe you get this large piece of carpet with it, but it comes rolled up if you want to use it for that. But this is a really cool spot. Sorry, there's a generator running right outside. But here's your back patio when it's down. You have your awning already out. Beautiful space. If I flip around over here, beautiful cabinetry up top. You got your TV up here as well. Plus you have your Happy Jack bed right here. And it's only, okay, so you have the bottom ones here. This all can turn flat, so you have a large sleeping area here. And then this can lower down and you have another queen size sleeping area above it. So you can sleep a lot of people back here. Um, I love this space. This is actually really cool. I feel, you know, if I was at a campground with the family and they're sleeping in, unless the kids are on the happy jack behind me, yeah. but I drop this down, close the doors up, have my coffee right here, have my laptop out, be, you know, editing right here. This just seems like a really cool space to do it. And then when my wife wakes up and, you know, she starts getting everything ready, if she cooks some eggs or something, she can just hand it right to me through the window and I can just frisbee it into the sink when I'm done eating, you know? <laughs> Super cool, but I like this. This is innovative, it's different. And you got your microphone already here, so you guys can make all your e-trailer content out here. Imagine doing your reviews on the road. Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be awesome. And you even got your sound system right here for Bluetooth. More lighting controls. This is very cool. What do you guys think? Scale of one to 10, we did this last year at the event and we kind of ranked it based on just overall. I mean, not any one thing but we, we already know Riverstone's a premium product right and yeah. we know that there's a lot of things to like about it but from a floor plan only perspective let's only look at that floor plan only perspective one being eh, boring don't care about it I could just walk right by it and not care 10 being absolutely most amazing thing you've seen and here's the caveat this time you can change your rating as we go so if you I... walk into another RV and you're like this is next level, then you can change this one down a level if you want. So I'm gonna give this, I typically don't like floor, or like toy hauler floor plans because yeah. the living room to me stinks, but this one's very doable. No dinette in here, that's the thing. You're gonna have to use the space back here if you wanna eat with your family because there's no real area here to eat, like at a table. Um, but you could use trays, right? I mean, you could put trays in front of everyone, but only because it lacks a dedicated dinette and you have to use this space back here. Basically use this table in the middle as your dinette, which isn't too bad. I mean, if you're not using this as a toy hauler and you're using this as another living room space, I think that would be fine. So I'm gonna, I'll give it an eight. An eight. An eight. Yeah. a little harder to please. I feel like it's a six, but that's also because in the shop, we recently had someone come in with a toy hauler and they weren't using it to haul toys. They were mm -hmm. using it as a larger office space. Yeah. And that threw off their tongue weight. Ah, so they had to yeah. upgrade their kingpin to something that wasn't just, it was overrated for their rig just to compensate for the lack of their rig being off balance. They weren't willing to sacrifice their office space. And so having to use this as your dinette instead of hauling your toilet, like if you go to somewhere for like an off-road park and you pull your UTV mm -hmm. out and then you can set this up, yeah, it can work for while you're there. So when you say they were using it as an office and it was offsetting their, their, their pin weight, do you mean that because they didn't have heavy toys in here, yes. they were actually adding too much weight to their tow vehicle? Yes. Okay. All right. So, and that's something you have to think about. If you don't have a heavy, you know, 1,200, 1,500, 2,000 pound toy in the back, then the design of this fifth wheel is automatically going to lean more towards the weight resting on the back of your truck because you're not using that cantilever effect. So very very good point i see what you're saying and this again has almost a six thousand pound payload capacity so if you don't have a heavy toy back here you better have a heavy heavy duty tow vehicle with a ton of with a, a lot more than a ton but with a lot of cargo capacity yeah what do you think um last year i was the one that came out with a 10 right away and had to adjust all my scores after so we'll call that the tyler rule but like jd said this is a premium price point so we know we're getting a lot of really cool features um specifically with the floor plan i think i'm gonna go with a seven and a half seven and a half to eight. I really like the uniqueness. I think this is a creative way to kind of visualize this space. It feels homey. Um, I love hanging out with my friends. Your yeah. homies, right? Yeah, your homies, yeah, in the home. Um, I like hanging out with my friends at RV Park. It's a great place to host. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can have a really good time back here. And if you bring kids, they can bring all their toys with them. 
right? A great place to just throw you all just their little stuff and things in the back, the back bikes. Door open, let them all fly out while you're driving. Yeah, you're exactly. Up. Just put little GPS trackers on them and let them go out like flies, right? Especially the one that you typically keep hidden behind the wall here, right? <laughs> That might have been my favorite feature there. I don't know what I can say that already hasn't been said. If I'm going to rate it an 8, I could adjust it as we go and see more inside and more floor plans as we go. But I'm going to go with the 8. I'm impressed with how it looks on the inside and how much room there actually is for everybody to hang out. Very cool. So I'm going to give you guys a couple facts about how Riverstone builds their RVs that you may not know. So they're one of the few brands, a handful of brands, that use a 3-inch thick sidewall. So it's about twice as thick as your traditional RV sidewall. Even some of your premium products. You go out here, you'll see a lot of really nice fifth wheels, but nothing out here really is going to have a three inch thick sidewall. So that's a big one. They, they do things differently. The frame is a very, very custom Lippert frame for Riverstone. It uses steel structure to actually encompass the whole front area as opposed to just creating this like overhang effect. So the, the chance of a frame failure in a Riverstone is greatly reduced just because of how they build the frame. And if you look at the basement area under there, you can actually see the frame structure. It's not aluminum up top, it's actual steel boxed structure. Um, on this unit, they have uh, automotive disc brakes. You guys sell and install automotive disc brakes, so on RVs and trailers. And this one has a Dexter automotive disc brake setup on it, which is really nice. Um, it uses the Road Armor suspension, another product you guys sell from Lippert. So this has road armor, but you can also get these with fully independent suspension as well. So that's kind of cool. A lot of people will take something like this, they'll send it over to Moride, uh, which is down the street from here, and they'll actually get like the Moride full independent suspension system added. So a lot of cool things that you can do to these. Again, real solid wood cabinetry, soft closed drawers, soft closed cabinets. Um, just everything is a little bit higher grade, higher end. And you can do that because weight isn't as much of a factor when you have a frame that can support as much weight as this frame can support. Most RVs that we're gonna tour and we're gonna look at are gonna be really built around how pretty can we make this look while keeping the weight as low as possible. And it's in everything. It's from your faucet fixtures to your countertop materials to the wood that they use, to the flooring, to the thickness of how, how the sheathing is over the roof. All of that stuff plays into weight. So you're gonna notice that as a trend with a lot of RVs. And it's not because they're necessarily trying to be cheap. It's again, it's a focus on weight reduction. So very cool. We're not gonna dive into too much on the outside. A cool feature that this does have that very few brands have is a full water manifold system. So if you look under the basement of any of these river stones, you're gonna see this large panel that has all these pipes going in and out of it. And that's so you can shut off valves independently to any area in case you have a water leak. So very cool, very premium, and you don't see that on very many units. So just a heads up, you're not gonna see it on virtually anything else out here, except for the Riverstone and maybe one or two other products. That's very cool. Really nice. Yeah. And yeah, and not only that, it's crazy how many how many tankless water heaters you're going to see out here. It's becoming far more popular, so it's a great upgrade. You guys carry the Furion tankless water heater? Yep, so you guys have it, and that's what you're going to see predominantly out here. On your higher-end coaches, you're probably going to see the Truma AquaGo system, but on your more average units, it's going to be the Furion system, which it came down in price significantly from what it used to be, so a lot of manufacturers are starting to put them on RVs. Great upgrade to have, and the folks at eTrailer carry it. Anyways, guys, we're going to hop out of this one. We're going to move on to some other ones. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.